What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Today, we are checking out the Estes Pro Series 2 Nike Smoke. I am very, very excited for this because my dad has one and my cousin has one. And now, thanks to Estes, I have one as well. Uh, if you're not familiar, I've partnered up with Estes to showcase some of their products and everything. And if you want to get yourself one, they're $69.99 from the Estes website. And if you use my discount code ZWW10, you can get 10% off this or anything else you order from that website. Now, I'm super, super excited about this. As you guys know, despite building and flying pretty big and fast and gnarly rockets, I still fly small ones from time to time. And I believe that this rocket might just be the cheapest way for you to all in one have a rocket to do your level one certification, or at least one of the cheapest ways to do it. So if you're getting into high power rocketry, I think this is a great contender. And I know what you're thinking. That rocket says on the box that it's made to fly on E and F motors. And you are correct. That is what it's designed for. However, my dad and my cousin both actively fly theirs on G80s pretty frequently. And I have heard talk of a couple people who have used these for their level one certification. So what we're going to do is speed run, unbox and build this thing. It's probably going to take under an hour to build it because I'm going to build it only with CA. I'm going to make one small adjustment. That's the way the shock cord is attached. This, I believe, does still use the Estes fold up the piece of paper and glue it to the inside of the tube technique, which I'm not the biggest fan of for something like this. So I'm going to attach it to the top centering ring one way or another. I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking maybe I'll just drill a hole in the centering ring, pass the shock cord through, tie a knot in it, and maybe tack it to the bottom of the ring with a little bit of CA just so it's not trying to slip down the motor mount assembly while we put it together, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Then to put it through the ringer, I'm going to fly it on an Aerotech H195 New Blue Thunder. I've got one and it's been sitting and I'm like, you know, this could be a really fun video because it's either going to prove that this thing's plenty robust for level one flying or oh, it's going to make another entry for my fail compilation for next year. So there's only one way to find out, but uh, I'm going to get the table out and we're gonna start unboxing and checking this thing out, shall we? All right, let's take a look what we got going on in here. The old Pro Series 2 Nike Smoke. It's three inches in diameter. So there's your three inch body tube. And here's the nose cone and it actually has really nice scale markings on everything. It's super, super fun. I'm pretty excited for it. There's gonna be a little bit of sanding required just on this seam. But uh, honestly, I think just a little quick hit and then some filler primer. And that's really not going to be anything we need to be concerned about. So let me move this back. And here comes the dump. Yep, there's that foldy shock cord piece. So this is why I say I think it's one of the best like entry level options for getting into high power rocketry. You've got shock cord, parachute, and a motor retainer in there. This rocket has everything you need to just build it and then go fly. So like I said, there will be a couple couple changes made. For one, we're not going to build it with this. This is the motor block and uh, you would in theory kind of need it for SS motors because they have no thrust ring on them, but you can just add a thrust ring with tape and be more than fine. If we put that into the maximum length, of a motor that can go in there as an Estes one, then obviously we can't fit our H motor in there. Now this elastic is a, it's sort of a remnant thing of high power of a different age. Um, a lot of big rockets used to use elastic like that. I have some pretty big old kits that came with shock cord just like that. And it's a little bit antiquated, even tubular nylon at this point. Most people just run Kevlar, but this stuff still just works great. And considering this rocket's extremely lightweight, I'm totally cool with that and it is going to stay in the rocket. Now it's got two quarter inch launch lugs, but I won't be putting those on either. We're going to use rail buttons and here another crowning Nike smoke attribute. Those beautifully molded fins. The fin shape looks oh so good. So shout out to Estes for their attention to detail on this thing because it is just one of my favorite rockets of all time and in a world of a lot of sports scale rockets it's really nice to see something affordable that you know truly looks proper like a nike smoke so 
It is Nike. It's not Nike. But uh, there you go, folks. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm checking the time right now. It is nine o'clock on the dot. So we're gonna start building this thing and then we're just gonna be off to the races. Okay, you guys have watched me build rockets before and since this is going to be a pretty straightforward one, I'm just gonna put this whole thing on time lapse and give you guys some nice music to groove to, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. The S is Pro Series 2 Nike Smoke. And I know, yeah, crazy how fast I built this. Um, I'm just pretty good, I guess. I don't really know what to say, but I think the craftsmanship is pretty good. That... You think I wasn't gonna notice? It's the same rocket, dude. I gotta just get these videos. Mine's finished, though. Like, it looks good. I put work into this. Yeah, well, I just don't have that. I'm trying to get the video done. Well, anyway, that's the SS Pro Series 2 Nike Smoke. Uh, all right, fine. Yeah, fine. Mine's not done yet, okay? Well, the good news is that uh, if I really just sat here and ground it out, you could probably get one of these to this point in like 20 minutes or maybe less if you're really, really about that life. It was all built just with CA, and Shane, yours is just built with CA, right? Yeah. You fly it on G80s. So I think it's gonna be able to take an H195 just fine. I still gotta fill the little fin gaps. There's just a little bit of space between them. I think I might just use CA for that as well. Hit it with the quick set and then sand it out. And then uh, we're gonna see if it's gonna take an H195. So press the subscribe button if you want to watch that happen. Uh, probably not going to be until January we'll get a chance to fly it, but it will be pretty soon. It's a nice simple flight because it's motor deploy and a nice fun small rocket. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to another Rocket Vlogs video. Remember if you want to get yourself a Pro Series 2 Nike Smoke or any other SS product for 10% off, you can get it at ssrockets.com. Use discount code ZWW10 or you can just press the link in the description and it's uh, already plugged in there and ready for you to go. So you'll just get the discount in there. You'll be helping me out and helping yourself out to get some more cool rockets. Uh, my name is Braden Carlson. You can follow me on Instagram and add me on Snapchat at BigB1011. Thank you so much for tuning into another Rocket Vlogs video. I will see you all next time.